Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little cake topper of Hank from Finding Dory. I've dyed some modelling paste, as well as my hands, in a really pale orangey colour. So it's just very pale, we'll paint it up afterwards. I've divided it into two, one half I'm keeping for my body, the other half will be the legs. So the legs I've divided into eight, then I realised that Hank actually has seven legs, he must be missing one. So I've just put them to one side, keep them wrapped up so they don't go dry, and taking the other half of it. I'm sort of rolling it into a bit of a sausage shape and then I'm pinching it in a little bit higher than halfway up just thinning it out and then I'm going to bend it over it does look a bit weird at this point <laughs> and what I'm going to do is around the bottom I'm kind of pinching it and pulling it a little bit with my fingers so that we get like a little skirt along the bottom and we'll stick the tentacles under the skirt and I've just got balling tool and my balling tool has seen better days push in two eye sockets and then in those eye sockets I've got some white modelling paste that we're just going to push in there fill in those gaps we've just made and apologies that I've taken him right to the corner of the screen and I'm putting lines under his eyes giving him some nice heavy bags like that and we'll push a little bit down the centre of the top of his head as well so each of those pieces that we separated earlier we're now going to roll into his tentacles so roll so that it's a little bit thinner at one end, fatter at the other and we're going to push that underneath the skirt that we created at the bottom of his body just use a little bit of water to attach it or edible glue try and smooth out the join I didn't have a huge amount of success smoothing out the join but I could have probably spent a little bit longer on it and then you can twist the tentacles around to wherever you want them to go oh there I go adding the eighth one <laughs> it wasn't until after I'd added this one that I realised that Hank only has seven so I will cut that off in a bit I'm just kind of creating a little line can you see down near the bottom of his body and then just to give him a little bit of texture I've got a little piping nozzle and I'm going to go all the way around I think I've got a 1.5 piping nozzle but to be honest a bigger one would have been a little bit better but this was just the one I had to hand it's just the darker areas that we've put the texture the bits where the suckers go don't need this texture in and then let's do a little bit more work to his eyes so I've got a tiny little piece of uh, modelling paste in the body colour that we're just putting underneath the eye and we'll do that on both eyes and then I'm going to put a little line halfway down his eyes so that I know where I want his eyelids to come to when we add them but I'm going to paint the eyes on first before adding the eyelids oh, I'm not going to paint them on I'm going to put the eyes on first before adding the eyelids so I've got a sky blue and I've just added a tiny piece of modelling paste and I've just rolled two tiny balls give them a squash down to make a circle or you can use a circle cutter if you prefer and I'm going with a deeper blue so I've got an Aztec blue this time and I'm just painting on the very edge of those blue circles that we've stuck on just gives it a little bit more depth and I've just trimmed a little bit off the top of each eye as well where the eyelid's going to come to and then using some black modelling paste I've rolled two tiny tiny dots and these are going to be pushed into the centre of the blue even smaller now with our white dots again just white modelling paste and just push those into each eye so that's like the light reflecting in his eye so whichever side you put it on put it on the same side on the other eye so for the eyelids I've created a circle or a ball squashed it down cut it in half so you've got two semicircles and each of those are going to go on the top of his eye just give them a good push down so that you can't see any of the white at the top of them and I'm just going to push in with my modeling tool to create a little line just along the edge of his eyelid do that on both of them and I'm just creating a bit more shape where his eyebrows would be by pushing my modelling tool in at one side and my finger against at the other to create like a little ridge and then a little cone this time in the flesh colour and I'm just going to use a paintbrush handle to sort of hollow out the cone a little bit and that's going to go in the place of where his ear would be I don't know if it's an ear or what it is on the octopus and we'll do the same for the other side most of his body parts are now on so we're going to paint him up a little bit so I'm going to go paler anywhere that's sort of underneath towards where the tentacles are. So I've mixed a bit of orange with white to create a bit of a peachy colour and I'm going to dust around the bottom areas everywhere. And then you can use your deeper colours, so your orange and a bit of red mixed in with the orange up near the top. So the closer you get to the eyes, go a little bit deeper with the colour. And if you're worried about getting it all over the eyes, I've mixed it with a little bit of water or you can mix it with an alcohol clear alcohol for painting around the eyelids because you don't want the dust to drop on the whites of the eyes so keep going all the way around so these are just edible dusts 
and I'll put links to the ones that I've used in the description box below the video as well and I'm gonna go over the tentacles as well with the orange can you see I'm concentrating on the top area leaving the bottom bit nice and pale and do that on all of them okay so there he is he's fully colored in now we're gonna add the suckers now on the pale bits of each of his tentacles I'm just gonna roll quite a few little balls this is just a tiny bit in fact this is actually his eighth um, leg that I cut off that I'm using for the suckers so I've rolled quite a few little balls and what I'll do is if some of them are a little bit bigger than the others I'll start with the big ones closer to the body and then we'll make them smaller as we go along so I've kind of squashed them on and then I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the center of each sucker although they want to stick to my fingers there we go so little holes just in the center of those so just keep going and you can see they get a little bit smaller as they go around and that's it done now he's quite dull looking at the moment so if you want to give him a bit of a shine you can steam him up a little bit so all you have to do is boil the kettle wait for a bit of steam and just hold him above the steam don't get it too close otherwise you'll just soak him and um, it'll give him a little bit of a sheen so i'll show you a picture of what he looks like once he's been held above the steam so there he is finished and i'm going to keep him i was going to keep him for a cake but i think i'm going to keep him on my desk <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.